This past Saturday, the FCS Championship game did something rare. It was played and televised on a Sunday afternoon. It seems crazy, but ABC competed directly with the final weekend of the NFL season after being on the first or second Saturday of January since 2010. This is not as unprecedented as it seems, as for one year, the FCS playoffs got the Sunday night football treatment. Before I begin this story, I ask that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. We got podcasts, interviews, and a lot of other cool content. Last week, I discussed a potential Cincinnati Chili Bowl with the host of the CSC podcast and Air Force fan, Greg Berry. So check it out on the card in the upper right-hand corner. To understand this story, we need a feel for the college football broadcasting climate of 1983. As I've mentioned in previous videos, which you can watch in the card in the upper right hand corner, the NCAA and ABC or whatever network had the TV contract negotiated and determined the TV schedule each season until 1984. Beginning in 1982, the NCAA had two network TV partners, CBS and ABC, and one cable partner, TBS. As part of the contract, TBS was entitled to 14 Saturday night telecasts, four Thursday night games, and one Sunday night game. In the first year of the contract in 1982, TBS chose the September 19th game between Oklahoma State and Tulsa for its Sunday night game. You may ask if they competed with the NFL, and the NFL did not have a regularly scheduled Sunday night game until 1987 when ESPN signed with the league. While the league broadcast one Sunday night game per season on ABC as part of the Monday Night Football package from 1979 to 1986, that year's Sunday night game was not scheduled until October 24th. So, that brings us to the 1983 season. Leading up to the last week of November, TBS had not aired a Sunday night game and the choices were slim, as there were only 16 Division 1A or FBS, as we know the division today, games that week, with few of any national relevance. On the other hand, the Division 1AA, or later known as the Football Champions Subdivision, FCS, playoffs began that weekend. As a result, TBS opted to air the best first round game on paper, with the defending champion Eastern Kentucky Colonels hosting 8-3 Yankee Conference champions, Boston University. The Colonels had gone undefeated the year before and were a bit of a household name, appearing on CBS for the Division 1AA Championship against Delaware in 1982, which they won. Boston University, on the other hand, had one of the best backs in the country in Paul Lewis, who ran for over 1,600 yards and 23 touchdowns. So how did the game go? The game lived up to the hype as Boston University upset Eastern Kentucky 24-20 in a closely contested game. However, the next week, Boston University's Cinderella story would end as they would lose to Furman 35-16 in the Division I-AA quarterfinals. So, will we ever see another Sunday FCS playoff game, much less championship game? I don't think so. The ratings for the FCS championship game were not as good as the game drew a 0.61 rating and 1.07 million viewers compared to CBS's 11.78 rating and 22.73 million viewers and Fox's 5.03 rating and 9.4 million viewers for their Sunday afternoon games. To make matters worse, the quarterfinal game outdrew the championship game in TV ratings. Holy Cross and South Dakota State drew better TV ratings on ESPN and nearly 500,000 more viewers on December 10th. So, it is safe to say that competing with the NFL was a failed experiment for the FCS. Like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.